Druid Stone. So this is the new game from the people that made The Legend of Grimrock 1 and 2, which Grimrock 2 kind of was a significant game in this channel because it, it's kind of off shot into the entire puzzle game slot as a result of its level design and so on and its core conceits. Admittedly, when I first heard about this game, I kind of shied away from how generic it looked and I was like, I, uh, bummer. But I think part of it was the fact that one, I just wanted Grimrock 3. I just have just n n no other games in that genre are quite like Grimrock. So if there isn't any more Grimrock, then I'm just like, it's just, it's gone. Uh, but also because what makes this company's games unique isn't really something you can just see. Because Grimrock looked generic as all hell too, but then you played it and you're like, this is doing some interesting things. So yeah, let's see let's see what happens when the Grimrock people uh, decide to do a turn-based strategy game. I've already heard rather positive things. Ploop. There's... Yes, I want the tutorials on. You can play on easy, hard, or normal. Generally speaking, normal seems like... And not recommended if you haven't played any tactical games before. Well, I have definitely played tactical games before. Uh, the comment section tells me I'm not great at them, but <laughs> yeah. If you just want to experience the story, you have no idea what you're doing versus hard. Truly challenging. Not recommended for your first time. Yeah, so every, the, all the difficulties mean exactly what I think they probably mean. Click. Oh boy, oh boy. Are those truffle caps? They are. And do I click? Yeah, there we go. Just look at this. It's ridiculous. I'm in truffle cap heaven. The others are gonna love this. After this, nobody's gonna be calling me a... Whoa. Hey, back off before I fry the slime off of you. Don't say nobody warned you. I'm being mobbed by slug? That, that's great. That's fantastic. Well, you asked for it. Help! There he is. Hey, you. What are you thinking running off like that? Oh, is that my squad? That's my squad. Oh, yeah. I don't even control that guy. I just control these two people. That's the red priest acolyte and a slug. And another slug. Damage 1, armor 0, speed 3. Amphibious, can move freely in water. Useful, usually peaceful and harmless, these mollusks have now become deformed and aggressive. Victims of the growing sickness in the forest. And there's the... our acolyte friend. Small, magical, curious, and harmless. One of these things doesn't apply to this little mage. Still, at least he knows a lot of stuff about things most sane people stare away from. Well, he is small and magical and I assume curious, so I guess he's not harmless because he's a mage. The green cloaked man, he's the warden or so they tell him. He's not sure what that means, but he knows the woods and the woods, they seem to know him. Scout, an adventurer, the daughter of the Archdruid. The one who you can count on to do the right thing, no matter the cost. So they both have a movement of... So he has three, they both have four, these guys have three. She's got five range da damage, two melee, she's got three, two, three melee, you got two melee. Alright. Some basics. Hold down middle mouse button to move the camera. Zoom with the mouse wheel. That's unusual. I don't know if I've ever played a video game where the first tutorial prompt is ha what happens when you hold the middle mouse button. <laughs> it's like, that's, that's like a, I feel like we skipped a few steps. So select the hero by clicking on the hero's on the map or the hero's portrait. I'll probably always click on the character themselves. And you can t you can tab between them too? Okay. Actually, I'll probably do this. This, this is handy because my left hand something to do. All right, so there's all their hearts. Whoa. Oh, oh the bushes have a hit point. Alright, so you got five, you've got eight, you've got six. They do the thing where every five spaces it out so you can read it faster. Okie dokie. Let's go attack this dude, probably. Or should I click on the next thing here? Action and movement points. The orange and blue markers above the heroes are their action and movement points. Action points are orange. 
Many actions such as attacking require an action point. Movement points are blue. Movements consume one movement point per square. You can take actions between moves. Okay. Okay. So for once, it's a it's a top-down, turn-based, grid-based game of the last decade that doesn't have the exact same system from XCOM. Instead, you have movement you can split before and after your action, which is more like d and I believe. All right, let's try attacking. Do I just click on you? Sword, deal three damage. That should be enough. Uses one action point. Oh. Just double click. There you go. Got to be careful. I moved my mouse a little bit and his path changed, which could mean stuff. Collect to recover one heart. Neat. I don't need that, though, so I should probably leave it since it might stick around for a while. This guy's got movement. All right. I zoom in on here. Let's look at these graphics. Huh. Oh, yeah, they said middle mouse moves the camera. Weird. Uh, yeah, WASD does not work. Arrow keys do. I'll probably do that instead because clicking middle mouse for that purpose feels weird. There's, there's the graphics up close, I say with, with air quotes. It's alright looking. Look at that blobby little bastard. Alright. Actions during your turn. You don't have to use all of your hero's actions and moves at once. Actions and moves can be alternated between heroes. When you finish all of your moves and actions, click end. Yeah. They're saying that you can... Not only can you move, then attack, then move again if you still have more move actions, but I can, like, move with one character, attack with another character, move with that character again, and so on. I can sta I can switch between all my characters as much as I want to, which is neat. Let's take a moment to look at these actual skills. It's like, what's the... Whoa! You've got range. Deal two damage at a target within five squares. One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's a rock there, so that's not a good example. Let's go down. One, two, three, four, five. So we are not counting diagonals as being like 515, 515 or anything like that. Uh, it's just a perfect square of attack, which I think is how Banner Saga worked. So it's five tiles this way or five tiles that way, which gives the impression of an extra range, basically. Alright, before I sit here and read every single skill, let's just move around and stuff. Oh, oh, there we go. Let's undo my action. We'll get into position. And then we will murder this dude. Batoom! Ah. I can still do some stuff, I guess? Once permission to rewind time back to the beginning of your turn. Whoa! Neat. Move up to your movement speed is a free action. What? Oh, that's also one time consumable. All right, we'll, we'll wait a little bit. I'll get into reading every single skill people have a little later, but those sound interesting already. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, guys, this is not looking good. Not, not good at all. Okay, you know what? Maybe let's read our skills now. Uh, this is a lot of enemies. All right, so we have regular attack, three damage, or three attack, or whatever you want to call it now. Guard, until the start of next round, gained one armor, and automatically attack the first enemy who moves to an adjacent square. Oh, it's like a melee overwatch a little bit. You're prepping for incoming attacks, and you get them. Uses all remaining action and movement points. So I can move into position and then do that, but the turn ends. Even more overwatch-like. Bandage. Revive an adjacent knocked out hero. Hero recovers one heart. Alternatively, heal one heart to an adjacent target to yourself. Uses one action point. Oh, right. There's no number in the corner, so that probably means I can use it infinite times, which means... Yeah. So he can pick people up. Charge. Move up to two squares and attack a target. The target is pushed one square. You have to move at least one square. Uses one action point. Okay. So basically, if I move my maximum movement range and he's out of range, like over here maybe, I can use charge to close the gap and then still hit him and knock him back. Shift. Move one square without provoking attacks from adjacent enemies. The move is not hindered by terrain. Free action. Yeah, there's your five foot step. There's a D&D &D mechanic, basically. The five foot step. 
where you can you can move a little bit to uh, avoid attacks of opportunity and stuff like that being set off. Basically, stuff like the, his guard like his guard move would not be set off by somebody using shift to escape its range qu carefully and quietly. Or a one to tackle adjacent creatures with a melee weapon. Nice and straightforward. Uses one action point. Uh, cancel. Tab. But she has the bow attack. We're familiar with that. Then, we, yeah, the rewind. Just undo the entire turn. Which might even be good for re-rolling, if there even are percent chance things in this game. Do you also have bandage? They can both revive people. Neat. There's the dash. Just show. There's one. There's one in the corner, which I'm assuming so far means that once you do it once, you can't do it anymore. That mission. Probably. Although that interestingly, this one says once per mission, whereas this one doesn't. But that has a one. So maybe that one means something else that we'll learn over time. But this is just an extra movement phase, so she can cover crazy distances. Or or retreat on a moment's notice. Cure, restore five hearts to a target within five squares. Or focused, heal three targets. We need to learn what that means. But apparently you can focus, which results in lar larger effect versions. This is five hearts on one target. That would presumably be five hearts on each of the three targets. Revive, restore a knocked out hero to full health. Looks like it has range, judging by this thing we're seeing here. Deals five damage to undeads. Heroes in blocked squares can't be revived. Focus, revived all knocked out the heroes, damn. All right, an AOE revive is pretty strong to have and an anti-undead skill comes in handy. So this guy's still here, but I can't control him. Isn't one of you like slightly damaged? Let's see, shift, control, to alt, there we go. I figured there was something that would show all of the uh, current health bars. No, I think the guy that I weakened got taken out by the Acolyte, because currently none of them are. Okay, so we need to start making a mess quickly, if we can. The guys to our south will probably take a little while to reach us. Or that's what I'm hoping. Let's uh let's get in the back. Away from this guy approaching. There we go. Hey, he got one. Oh, she had a yeah. And I just failed our bonus objective, which is to not take any damage, which I didn't even notice was there until just now. My bad. Yeah, they have they had back access through here, right? Because they can go through the water because they're amphibious. We're learning things. Isn't it learning? Isn't learning fun? Anyway. Opportunity attack. When moving away from a square, adjacent enemies get a free opportunity attack against the moving creature. I would prefer to not trigger an attack, but I do want to hit them. So let's try moving like this, then like this, then use my free action to get here, and then use Whirlwind to destroy dudes. There we go. Might regret using all of my actions like that, but it was a fun little use. Tutorial, abilities. The numbers over ability icons tell you how many times each may Ability may be used in a mission. If no number is displayed, it has unlimited uses. Click on the I ability icons to display information about them. That's why I was confused, though. So they, so yeah, they are once per mission, but also this one is a once per mission, and it's not one. I wonder if it's because it's, it rewinds time, which will restore abilities that were used probably so it, it has to like because it has to be kind of immune to itself to an extent as it comes to mind at least 
Uh, I'm gonna need you to die. There you go. I was tempted to pick up loot, but she was gonna get attacked. And I, I might be able to just pick it up anyway after the fight. I don't know how the overworld versus matches works, like it, whether or not the turn-based combat takes place on the real map or not, but we'll see. All this trouble over a couple of mushrooms. The forest didn't used to be like this. Ah, this is a reward for not screwing up the fight. Gotcha. Well, I'll try to be mindful in the future. All right, yes. You don't have to say anything. Perhaps I made a slight error in judgment. But, I mean, look at these truffle caps, though. Mushrooms. Are you serious? Listen, little man. This forest will kill you if you let it. Let's not get too dramatic here. We're all safe now. No harm done. No, no, I'll be the bigger man. I apologize, the bigger man. <laughs> I made a mistake. Thanks for the rescue. Uh, sorry... What is your name, anyway? I mean, do you have one? Because, well, we just cut you out of a cocoon, and I don't know if it works with... How it works with you cocoon people. He's not cocoon people, he's the warden. Not really helping, but okay. Protector of the forest, created by the forest. Druid stuff. That's not my field. Anyway, do you have a name, or...? I told you, he's the warden. Right, okay, but is that what we... <laughs> and now you actually name the warden. Okay. Wardy. No. Uh, what is a dumb name I can give you? Nah, let's not do... We don't need, we don't need dumb names. Eh, sure. You could be a Jamie. I'll go with that. Jamie. My name is Jamie. See? Jamie. Oh. I'm sorry, I should have asked. So, you're the warden. What's a warden actually do? I... Uh... Listen, we can talk about this later. Right now, we have to concentrate on those cysts. Eh. Can we not? Like, ever? No problem. We find them, we destroy them, we take the warden back to the circle. What are these cysts, exactly? The druids call them the cancer. They're spreading throughout the forest, corrupting the plants and animals. We don't know what's causing it yet, but the brightest minds of the druids are on it. My father says, whatever's causing the cancer, we have to wipe the cysts out quickly before it's too late. He's the Archdruid, so I guess he'd know. I'm kind of fuzzy on a lot of things, but that sounds like something we could ta we should tackle. Yeah, the Archdruid's not the type to overreact. Lead the way, big guy. Let's do this thing. Huh. Am I not naming her? Or is it gonna- or is the name gonna show up at some point? Or is she a minor character that never comes up again? Blood- bloody roots! Look at the plants! Hello. Hello. Ruid stuff. That's... disgusting. Is that the cancer? Are we too late? We might still have time to stop it if we don't hesitate. And let's not hesitate. Too late. <laughs> Pretty sure we just spent all this time hesitating. Beware, the area is infested with the cancer. You have seven rounds to destroy the cysts until the cancer fully manifests, and completing the mission becomes more difficult. Each destroyed cyst delays the cancer by one round. The mission ends immediately when the last cyst has been destroyed. May the forest protect you. Oh boy. One, two. Just trying to see like whether or not the graph the graphics look familiar to me from their previous Hey, that's a that's a that's a head. I'm like, oh look at that. A dungeon. The likes of which we're used to seeing from them. So I was, I was trying to I was I was really curious to see if the tile set would match the the old game. I don't think it does. So assists have six hit points. A magical power source of unknown origin. It is drawing energy from the zero seed. And we have wasps. 
One damage, six speed, they can move like crazy. One pierce, they can go through your armor, I assume. Flying, can fly over pits and low obstacles. Evasive, does not provoke opportunity attacks when moving. Oh boy. The infernal hum of this living war machine is the first and only warning you get of its painful sting. Saving the game. The game automatically saved at the start of each mission. You can save the and exit at any time from the pause menu. To access the pause menu, click the gear on the bottom of the screen. Bloop. Or hit escape. Yeah, that's what I figured. Re-equip. I assume that just means go change what stuff they're using right now, which I, I don't think is relevant yet. Read the spellbook to gain extra abilities for this mission. This is a free action. Ooh. Interesting. And there's a chest over here. So yeah, I take it that I probably needed to manually collect all that loot that was on the ground last game, because I don't think you get a chance to do it between missions. It seems to just throw you to the next scenario immediately. We got water here. Moving in water costs two movement points. Okay, so that's the thing about these guys having free movement. I assume the wa yeah. So these guys can move it through at a normal speed. These guys can just fly over it, but my characters have half speed when they try to go through it. I would say the best character to move over here is probably you, because you have your bonus move and so on. And also ranged attacks, so you falling behind is not a big deal. How does this work? Okay. Revive. Support ability. Restores a knocked out hero back to full health. Deals five damage to undead. So we knew... Yeah. We're used to that. I already have that ability, right? Oh yeah, those are the three abilities I have down there. I'm re... I'm recharging. Ah. When you say you get extra abilities... They mean that I can put extra points into these things that I already have, I, not gain new ones. Okay. So this is a ranged heal, this is a ranged revive. And this is my extra dash, which being able to move around like crazy would be useful, but let's maybe go for the heal. Okay, so they have different costs. So this is, this is where I spend the gems I've been getting from previous missions then. <clears throat> so I can get plus one use to my revives three times, and same for cure and dash. And I can increase the health gained for my revive and cure with, with a separate heal. I'm gonna go with extra cure. Select. There we go. But now I have two uses of this ability. So it mattered who I sent. The person I sent is the person who gets the upgrade. Gotcha. Let's go right here and kill the crap out of this thing. Why don't we? I don't think I have anything that does more damage. I think, yeah, everything I have is like variations of attacks, but nothing that does more damage. And yep, the cyst has one armor, which is not helping me out really. Oh, right, new character that I can, I can actually see his abilities now. So we can do two damage with his little dagger. He looks like the little Final Fantasy guys that have a lantern. Oh, look at his giant pull. He's got these giant pull strings on his hood. Look at the little fuzzy balls. He has bandage too. Teleport. Swap places with another creature within five squares once per turn. Free action. Once per turn? Damn. That's neat. Are you a cre- it says immovable, just in case I'm not sure that it's bullshit. Okay. So you cannot move the cyst. That'd be funny if I could just teleport the target into my into my allies so they go whale on it. But I can, I can switch places with these guys and stuff like that and get over there faster and so on. Focus. Your next spell uses the focused version of the spell. Reaction. Okay, so he has a focus. So he can self-focus, but she has an ability that benefits from focus. So I wonder if she can get this separately at some point. Force Bolt. Deal three damage to a target within five squares. Ooh. Does the focus make me wait until next turn, is the question? 
No, it says free action. So I could get scary about it, huh? That's interesting. I want to at least try to get in range if I can. Because the range of this attack is that. Let's see here. To move up. Uh, only two people are in range. I should wait until the other guys... Yeah, all these guys are going to come swarming at me in a later turn, I'm sure. Fire. Deal four damage to a target within five squares. Attack. <laughs> the focus version attacks all targets in a three by three square area. That could be so good if I get them to group up the way I want them to. Okay, for now, let's just attack. The cyst needs to die. There we go. Hmm, she only does two damage, so it's not going to defeat the cyst. So let's plug away at these guys. Ba boing And I could move even more if I wanted to, but right now seems like not the best time, so let's enter our turn. This time taking damage is fine, I just don't want anyone to go down entirely, or I'm in trubs. Wait, do you feel that? Prepare yourselves, the enemy's coming. A... A worse one, you mean? Yeah, he means that. I was gonna say, I'm like, they're already stabbing you. I don't know if you noticed earlier. There was like a hint of all the stabbing that was happening to you. Anyway, I need to just get rid of you guys. Focusing. It's a free action. Kill. Hopefully the water doesn't nullify this. Yeah. Awesome. And then I can wade into the water. Do it at the can I do it at the angle that grabs the heart? No. Get that action point and go Patwam. Extra action. Sist defeated. I should read these tutorials. Forest awareness. As a warden of the forest, Jamie can sense approaching enemies. Keep an eye out for the glowing red circles in the environment. They indicate where an enemy is about to appear. Loot drops. Defeated enemies sometimes drop items such as action points, hearts, or gold. Collect action points to perform extra actions, hearts to recover a health. Be sure to snatch up points before the enemies do. Oh. The enemies can see them and use them too. Okay. That's an interesting idea you got there. No. Okay, cool. You can just undo it. I did. I straight up meant to. Yeah, I need to not click on characters. I meant to select her for a second there. Uh, so tab. There we go. And an action point to open. Uh, let's wait until this thing comes at me. I'm sure. Because uh, I, I could open that up, but yeah, he's gonna be there next turn. I'm gonna go straight at him. Rar. And activate my defensive stance. Come and get me. At the moment they spawn, they're going to get smacked. Is there any more money lying around? Yeah, alt works there. I wonder. Settings. Presentation. You can turn on and off the music and the game audio. There's very few settings here, actually. Use your hotkeys. The tactical display, alt, is the one thing. Alright. And that's about it? Yeah, that's about it. Okay. So yeah, just, just have to hit alt whenever I want to see this stuff, when, there's, when there might be additional pop-ups coming up. Okay. Now you don't have an overwatch. Because this you have two healing items, an extra move, a, another healing skill, and a rewind, and a bow. So not a lot of tricks there. So she can't do anything to prepare for the incoming bad. So since she can't do anything with her actions this turn, I think I will actually spend this turn 
sprinting over to this thing in order to open it. Might as well do something this turn. Found a syringe. Consumable items found from chests can only be used during the current mission. Use them or lose them. Oh. Grants plus one bonus to damage for yourself or adjacent targets for three rounds. All right, you, let's use it then. Or adjacent target. You can't move anymore, right? Yeah. Let's just bump up her strength then and go for it. All right. That's an interesting bit of freedom. Learning that consumables will... Oh... The guard doesn't work that way. Attack the first enemy who moves to an adjacent square. I guess because he spawned it didn't count. Now I know. Hover your mouse over an enemy to show its movement range. Hold alt to highlight interactive objects and show their health. Yeah, so that's there. Centipede. Amphibious, also. The acid dripping from its nasty mandibles makes this critter more than just a nuisance. And they aren't usually this big. Or this aggressive. That's fine. We can deal with him. Nope. Oh. Gonna start aggroing on me while I approach. I can avoid your attack range a bit while I move forward. Because our goal is to destroy the cyst, not you. But I think I will try to destroy you. Let's start with you, because you're the furthest away. Give you a chance to help. But he can't use focus again. They can do, yeah, four fire damage, three frost damage. Let's go all in with the fire. Yeah. So it's it's uh it is for fire damage, but armor applies to elemental damage in addition to physical damage in this game, apparently. Because the four still led to him taking that much damage. So I can't move while I'm engaged in combat. I have to I have to hang out here. What is this again? The charge, right? Let's smack him. And he's down. He's down, and you still have movement actions. And you still have movement actions. Let's go mess that thing up. Uh, I have five turns left, so we should be fine. Mission objectives. In order to complete the mission, you need to complete all of its main objectives. Any, any failed main objective ends the mission immediately. Complete bonus objectives to earn extra rewards at the end of the mission. So open all chests, complete the mission without any knock- wait. Gonna shoot you real quick. Is there a chest down here? Oh. Um. The more you know. For a second there, I was getting ready to to. I was, get, I, was get, I was getting ready to go back and, like, undo that. I'm like, oh man, I gotta do a special run for this chest. No, there's a sister down here, so... Yeah, because it's out of three. So I'm actually... I'm not done. I thought this was, like, foreshadowing for, like, what's gonna happen after this mission, but that's... No, that's this map. We need to... We need to fight things. We're not even close to done, apparently. Wow. Okay. No line of sight, so I can't do that right now. Work on approaching. Alright, Sist 2 down. We have... We now have six remaining turns. Oh man, I, uh... Underestimated how much time we have left. I rewind? They're gonna come after me, aren't they? She can heal herself.
You know what? Yeah, let's rewind. Given the opportunity. Let's be smarter about this. It seems like there's not really a hit chance. Attacks seem to just land and that's it. Making our actions very consistent. The last cyst must be down in that crypt. There's the message that plays if you hadn't found it already. I'm gonna begin approaching but then stop. I'll leave it to next turn for when we discover the bad news downstairs. Hi, everybody. Uh, lots of dudorinos around here. It's fine. I'm just going to delete you. There we go. That's better than going face first into it, my other character. Oh man, it's a bummer that her her movement stops right there. Yep, just take him out. You're gonna take a bit, aren't you? I suppose I do have the ability to teleport with people, but not right now. That's something I would have wanted, wanted to do earlier. Oh, hi. The heck? Gelatinous. Lightning immune. It flies, non-melee, does not perform opportunity attacks. Floating in the air and crackling with sparks of light, the gelatini may look harmless, perhaps even beautiful. However, if you, if you don't want to be electrocuted, you would be wise to keep your distance. Hmm. Hopefully they won't ever catch up with me, and then we'll be good to go. Ah, the pressure plates. There's a familiar sight for a grim rock game, I suppose. Oh, I thought you were going to pick up the gold. Oh, no. That's kind of bad news. Let's get the spell book real quick. My bonus use of Whirlwind would be nice right now, honestly. Yeah. There we go. I can use Whirlwind again. Won't that be nice? Uh, hi guys. Hmm, if I could get there, that'd be great. Being able to use well, that doesn't restore focus, though. Alright, fire damage, go. So shoot you once, move to the AP point, shoot you twice. Ambush avoided. No longer a problem. We got this. Alright, we still have four turns. We're doing pretty okay at the moment. I kind of want the, the rats to come to me instead of the other way around, so let's wait here, I think. Unless... you can actually move to that square, and you haven't done your action yet. Looks like I could charge him. Ah. I do kind of look forward to these. I look forward to some Grimrock pu uh, dungeon puzzles happening during combat like that. That'll be interesting. And, ooh, I can even change, I can even control the charge direction of where they end up going when I hit them. Like, pacha. Now how you feeling, huh? Uh, that'll be the end of my turn. Oh, diseased. Goody. Let's go check what that does. Cannot recover health by any means. Oh, cool. I was planning on healing you, as you would expect. And I guess we're not doing that. In three turns, it'll end. Oh, hey, there's an XCOM shield. Its cover prevent, uh, prevents ranged attacks from coming from behind the shield symbols. Ah. 
there's no percent chance to hit as far as I can see, so it just straight up blocks the attacks entirely. What happens if I attack a chest? I mean, there's, there's only one way to learn, right? <laughs> I do have a whirlwind. Oh god. He's gonna hurt me, though. Maybe it's worth it. Oh wait, no, I have a free action to move without doing that. But wham! Please. No, it failed. Oh, load game. <laughs> that was probably a while ago. Yeah. All right. Well, I've uh, failed two objectives. The commenters are going to be psyched about that. Uh, I can't heal by any means. That should mean that that heart can't heal me either. Let's get you moving because I need to get you covered because all these enemies are coming in. Shoot that cyst. No out of sight? Oh. Dang it. If, she, if, if they could switch, then she could shoot it once and then the mission would, would end. Uh, no, she doesn't do enough damage. Alright, well, now we know. If you hit a chest, it obliterates out of existence and you can't get the item from inside of it. You'd think hitting it with a sword with a simple spinning attack would mean that it's just open now. At bad most, or completely unchanged at worst, at m at best. But oh well. I don't think there's anything to do with your with this character this turn. I guess I can heal you, but no, I don't have line of sight, right? Ow! Stop it! All right. Well, I messed up, and we're gonna live with that. Uh, you're pretty easy to kill. Should I be dealing... Let's, do, let's deal with this guy. I might be able to get an item out of him. Or no loot. Oh, well, there's some experience, I suppose. Yeah. Anyway, victory. Don't do that. There's something in the air. The soil feels wrong. This isn't random. I really don't think the forest is supposed to be like this. Yeah, we failed our secondary objective again. I hope there's no long-term repercussions for my continued mistakes. All right, we're off to a good start. This, this seems... This seems neat. I'm interested. See you guys next time.